and welcome to another review. My name is Daniel Gibson and today we are talking about The Martian starring Matt Damon. Matt Damon is this NASA astronaut on a manned trip to Mars um, and basically while on this trip something goes wrong he is left behind believed to be dead but oh he's not dead and so it's all about how he's trying to figure out how to survive long enough to get NASA to come back to him, and not only that, but survive long enough that NASA knows he's even there. Um, so it's a cool dynamic, definitely a cool story. I was excited for it. Um, the high points of this film, as I watched it, the things I enjoyed most was, first off, Matt Damon uh, had some cool MacGyvering moments, which we expect to see him figuring out solutions and, 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 and um, succeeding in that sense was really cool. The next thing I really enjoyed, uh, you know, was the humor. It had a lot more humor than I expected. Uh, Matt Damon was uh, was really funny in, the, in, in different parts of the film. You know, you kind of see this whole thing, and it's easy to get in the downers and the dumps about it, and he tries to uh, see the silver lining, if you will. So I think that's funny. Um, I enjoyed kind of the human element. And it was kind of removed and detached, this film. But in the same sense, like... Matt Damon is struggling, everybody else is kind of trying to figure out how to do this in the best way that makes sense and not to just put this to go out and think like, let's go get him because obviously there's a lot of other factors that come in and if you just send somebody, people will die more than just him. So it's like a whole factor going on in this movie. It was interesting to watch. But on the negative side of this movie, I really had hopes for it to be a little bit more on the MacGyvering side and figuring out the solution. I understand, like, you know, they can't just do that the entire film, and I wouldn't have wanted that either. But it just was a really, honestly, kind of small portion of the film. Um, the other parts was just that, as I said, everybody kind of felt detached. The movie had very intense parts, don't get me wrong, very intense. Um, but in the same sense, a vast majority of the movie, I felt kind of like, all right, I mean... It's taking its time. And granted, this takes place over a year and a half when he's in space and all this stuff is happening. So there's like definitely, you know, they're using, they're, there's time on, on, the, on his hands. And a lot of what he does, you know, it would be sitting. Now, now granted, we don't sit there and just watch Matt Damon sit around for hours and hours and hours. But, you know, I still just want to say, like, I just felt detached from it. I felt like all the people um, were obviously playing the roles of, like, the, the overlords of NASA trying to figure out what to do. It just felt... It didn't feel like I was connecting with very many characters. It's, I guess why Matt Damon's pretty much the only guy you connect with in this film. So there's that. And even that, that Matt Damon's character, while he's fun um, at times, I, I don't know. He's just not my kind of guy. I don't know how to say it. I, just, I didn't feel like I connected overly with him. He wasn't a guy who, he was kind of a smart aleck and, and different things like that. And kind of a, I don't know, I want to say a jerk. But just I just didn't, I didn't connect with his character whatsoever. And so, I, I mean, I had the connection just in the sense of a human bit. But I, mean, I just didn't, I didn't particularly like his character. So it was harder for me to enjoy the film. Um... On the parental guide side, the movie was rocky. There's a lot of language in it. And not only that, the language is abrupt. Um, I mean, it, it, it's there and you just notice it. It stands out because it's only in certain parts of the movie. So when it happens, you don't necessarily see it coming. It's like, oh, geez, language. Quite a bit of that. There's nudity. It's male nudity. It's more to show just the impact it has on Matt Damon's body. But it shows his butt. So there's nudity in it. Um, blood and gore, not really, and there's no sexual content, so on those fronts you're fine. But all in all, here's my review, it, put down to just this brief thing. The Martin is a fun movie if you want time, if you want to put some time into it. The movie doesn't move quickly, it doesn't move necessarily too slowly either, but you're definitely, you're there for what feels like a long time. The characters are, are, are good, but they're not intriguing, they're not necessarily people are going to pull you in, so you have to be willing to invest in the story and necessar not necessarily invest in the characters. So all in all, this movie's going to get a 6.5. on my scale. Um, and it just came down to enjoyability for me, you know, I don't think anything was um, necessarily all that horrible, but when I watched the film, I just kind of, I didn't really enjoy it, and I left kind of thinking like, eh, it was just okay. Um, I'm giving it good marks because it had a lot of interesting things about it, it was an interesting story, um, I still enjoyed the film, wanted to see it at the end, everything, but I just didn't do it for me. So all in all, that's my review. Let me know in the comments down below if you're going to go see this movie. If not, you're going to see The Walk. You're going to see something else coming out this weekend. Let me know in the comments down below, guys. Thank you so much for watching. God bless, and we'll see you next time.